I'm back from a two weeks vacation. A lot of adventures. I went to Canada. Maybe I'll talk about the adventures in a future video. But for now, I came to piles and piles of work. Anytime I go on a vacation, I know that when I come back, I will suffer. I will have to work three times as much or three times as hard in order to catch up. The first thing I see on my bench are two 4090s. One of them I have right here and the other one is right here. And both of them came for a melted connector. What's new? 4090s still have a problem with connectors? Yes, of course. We get those in every day and the saga continues. What can you do? Isn't that connector issue already fixed on 4090s? Who said? What about the new connectors? Where are they? Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. That's one of the connectors, one of the 4090s. You can tell how this, 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 and this, the plastic melted inside. And if we look at the other card, and this one is an ASUS card, we can tell by the way the connector looks. You see how we have that notch? Whereas on this one, actually both of them are ASUS. Yeah, both of them are ACES, right there, ACES and ACES, because ACES, they have a special connector. They are unlike anything else in the market. They want to have their own special, unique connector. So we have 12 VHPWR connectors for ACES, and we have 12 VHPWR connectors for rest of the cards. ACES decided to reverse that connector just because they are nice. When the problem first happened with the 4090s, where we discovered that connectors are melting, in the beginning, we were not able to get the connectors for ACES. We had the other 12 VHPWR connector, but that would not work on ACES. I had one video where I used a non-ACES connector on an ACES motherboard on a 4090. But I later realized that ACES is different. They use different connectors, and we cannot mix and match. What can you do, right? Aces. Today is my first day on the bench after a two weeks vacation and I feel lost. Where is Lomel Salder? Where's my brush? Flux I have right here. Alcohol dispenser I have here. So I need to get back into that work mood. And I have my NF sucker. Make sure it's working. Soldering station on. I did not turn it on yet. Okay, it's turning on right now. So first video after my vacation. Let's go under the microscope. And let's see if I still remember how to change connectors. Right? Of course I do. I'm just joking with you. Once you have the scale, it's hard to lose it unless you get away from it for a very long time. If you don't use it, you lose it. All right, so we're going to have to put the fume extractor on. I mentioned in one of the videos how the fumes from 4090s, they stink. And I mentioned how I use a mask so I do not breathe all those fumes, even though my fume extractor is on, but still. Right now, I do not want to use the mask so I can talk. But the other video card, I'll do it off camera and I'll use the mask. Right now, I'm using Lomel solder. We're going to mix low melt with unleaded solder that's already on the board so we can lower the melting temperature of unleaded solder. 
Otherwise, we're going to suffer trying to desolder that connector. See, look at this. Look at how the pins are moving now. Right now, all I have to do is extend the video card beyond my bench so we can pull on that connector down using a bent nose plier. You can find that plier on our site along with all the stuff that we are using in this video, like the flux. We are one of the biggest distributors of MTEC flux original Amtec flux low melt solder that we use in this video you can purchase off our site soldering stations hot air stations thermal cameras fume extractors you can buy all your tools from one place just log into northfishfix.com click on shop add to cart check out pay and we almost always ship out same day now we're gonna use our NF dot sucker I cannot put the sucker under the microscope because it's too long but I'm gonna do it off camera <laughs> and let's check and see if we got them all nice we got them all the magic of nf.sucker clean up we did not expose the board to a lot of stress to a lot of heat we used low melt solder lowered the melting temperature of unleaded solder that's already on the board because when low melt mixes with the unleaded then it becomes easier to desolder that connector the magic of low melt solder you see some scratches here and there that's normal because the mask on the board is very weak as soon as we apply our hot iron on the pin the mask gets scratched but that's okay we can add a mask later to cover the scratches. Let me grab a connector if I can find one right next to me. And yes, for those of you in the same type of business or doing this as a hobby, you can also purchase those connectors off our site. All right, perfect. All the pins are inside. Apply genuine Amtec flux. One of the best flux in the market and I tried a lot. Right now I have my finger under the connector so the connector does not fall off the board. But now that we secured the connector from here, from here, from here and here, I can let go. Now I have my two hands and we can focus on soldering each pin. We want to apply just enough solder so solder flows to back of the board or front of the board. Flux is your friend. Why are you applying a lot of flux? That's not a lot of flux. We are working under a microscope. It looks like a lot but it's only a drop. And I'm using the Northridge Fix brush right here. If you are a customer, most likely you already have this brush. Now all we need to do is add solder mask to cover the scratches. But before we do, let me just check front of the board. 
make sure solder made its way up all the way to the pins. And look at this, better than factory. Truly better than factory. What more do you want? Beautiful, we did an awesome job. Let's apply UV mask. Just a tiny bit here, a tiny bit there, maybe here, here, and why are you using a green mask and not a black mask? It doesn't matter, that's our signature on the card, green mask on a black board. So when the customer wanna sell the card, it sells for more money. Now we're gonna grab our UV light, our Northridge Fix UV light, along with some hot air. and the light goes on like this. The light does not spill. It just gets focused on the area. You see that metal cup? And the light will turn off by itself after about 20 seconds. If you want it for longer, you can press on the button again, then it goes for another 20 seconds right here. And done. Let's take a look. Beautiful. Wow. And we are done. I'm gonna hand the card over to Big Bus to reassemble and test. Then we're gonna invoice and mail it back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think, leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.